welcome to Caitlin's Corner. Today we'll be joined by Taylor. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> welcome. So we're actually celebrating Valentine's Day together. Mm -hmm. So we have four simple, easy recipes that we're going to be doing on this channel. And all the ingredients are here. A lot of stuff. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy? <laughs> but I mean, we did have to buy a lot of it, but she already had most of it. Yes. Except for all the berries because they're we're out of season. Well, sis is, you know, in a vacant house right now, so she didn't even have and cups. You can see that I don't have a dishwasher <laughs> bag here. There's a huge gaping hole. It's all and, right. Yeah, there's a couple technicalities like plugging in the neutral bullet, but it's fine because yeah. all the plugs are out. Yeah, it'll we'll be just fine. go to the hallway. It's gonna be like an <laughs> intermediary <laughs> thing that we just go in there and just blend our food. Yeah, but. On a different note, <laughs> we're gonna be making four super simple um, drinks and little snack balls. <laughs> that, snack <laughs> balls, huh? <laughs> that you can eat or drink with your gal or with your hubby or significant other, whatever. Fiance, boyfriend, all the other ones, spouse, girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend. For any of you loved ones, um, for this Valentine's Day. Perfect for parties too. So. Let us get into the recipes. So one of the four simple recipes that we are going to be doing is called the Rousel Dazzle. This has raspberries. It's kind of like a smoothie kind of texture and it only has like four ingredients. Okay, second one we're gonna be making is the chocolate strawberry protein balls made with some protein powder that I brought and they're gonna be super yummy for like a snack or pre-workout or dinner party, whatever you want. No, really, <laughs> whatever you want. You can just make it. It's actually very simple, but there is a lot of ingredients. You just gotta like, Put them all together. The next thing is the ruby red smoothie. This is actually a smoothie, unlike the razzle dazzle. Um, but it also is gonna, it's gonna actually have a beet. So one of these little bad boys right yeah. here, that's gonna be interesting because I've never eaten a beet ever in my life. Me either. This one is like ultra healthy though. Like green beans, apple, banana, beet. There's a whole lot of fruits and Delicious vegetables Delicious fruits and vegetables. <laughs> the last one we're gonna be making is a blueberry mojito mocktail, you know cocktail but not um, <laughs> see what i did there <laughs> i think that's where the um club soda comes into play i i assume i've never had club soda my grandmother swears by it but yeah i don't think i've ever drank club soda either yeah we'll just have to just test it out and see yeah. but so the first thing that we made was the razzle dazzle smoothie it was the easiest out of the four recipes we made we started out with this cup, we added all of our ingredients in it, and then we used the Nutribullet to blend everything up. We added juice plus complete powder in the flavored Dutch chocolate. It is so yummy, so great. I absolutely love it in every single smoothie I eat. If you flip it over on the back, you'll see a nutrition label. So it is whole food nutrition. You can see where all the ingredients are listed out and there is no hidden anything inside of there. Um, so whenever I ordered this, I ordered packets. So one scoop equals one packet. That made it super easy to measure out. Then we added skim milk. We stepped out of our comfort zone with this one. We also stepped out of our comfort zone with measuring because Caitlin didn't have any measuring equipment. So we just eyeballed it. You know, it's fine. Then we added raspberries. They're looking a little sad because they were frozen and then they weren't. Um, it's fine. We're showing you chia seeds right now, but we didn't add them until after we blended this smoothie because I read online that when you add chia seeds into your mixture and then blend it up, it actually makes it really hard for you to clean your blender afterwards. So we waited until the end to add those. Um, now you can see that it is this pretty purple color and Caitlin is going to help me add them into these glasses, the only glasses that she had in her entire house. Um, this smoothie was honestly so good. We unfortunately didn't have any more raspberries to add as garnish, so we ended up using strawberries. So after we add those strawberries for garnish, we ended up adding the chia seeds because we took them out. We didn't want to get like them stuck in the blender and then just not have any chia seeds in our smoothie. So right now we're fastly putting them in there and they added a really good texture. What did you like? Was this like, how would you rate it? This was totally an eight out of 10. Okay. What about you? I think about a seven out of 10. And I think this was a really good recipe. I loved it. Oh my God. Our next recipe, we're going to be doing the chocolate strawberry protein balls, but you can substitute any variety of 
berries you want. We started first ingredient with oats, the Quaker oats, captain variety. And we guesstimated a cup of oats with this plastic cup. Yep, that was accurate. Next up, we put in chia seeds. Unlike before, um, we put it actually in the bowl because we're not putting in the blender. We needed a third cup of chia seeds, but we're guesstimating again and we just put it to a third of this cup and hopefully it was enough, which you'll see later in the video very soon. But two dry ingredients. Now we're doing the Jif almond butter, which is delicious by itself on bread. You needed a half a cup, but they're only <laughs> they only had so much in there. So I ended up trying to scoop all of it in there. But who would have thunk that it was so thick of a butter that I had to just continue to tap it? If you could hear the sound right now, you'd be like, wow. <laughs> she is still tapping the butter in that bowl. But... Again, we are using the Juice Plus Dutch Chocolate Powder. It is all natural ingredients. You can see on the back, it tells you exactly what's in there. There's no hidden guesses or like apricots and that thing. <laughs> and now we put it again with dry ingredients. And here's our strawberries in wholesome chunks. But they're frozen. The honey bear, we love the honey bear. We could have chosen any honey to put in there. But you'll see right now, I am trying to drizzle a lot of honey in there because we needed a third cup of honey. But I wasn't going to put it in that cup and try to dump it out. This is vanilla. You can get it in the vanilla aisle. We needed a teaspoon of it. But I put a lot more than a teaspoon. And chocolate chips make everything better. We needed a third cup of this. They suggested the Enjoy Life chocolate chips. We ended up just choosing chocolate chips. And now I am clumping everything together. And that is the accurate term, clumping. It's a lot of just tossing it. It was very nasty feeling. But usually you would use a spatula. All right. So I know this probably wasn't your favorite recipe to make, but how did it taste? We got a outstanding yes for my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we were too scared to try it, honestly. But he wasn't. The third recipe that we made was the ruby red smoothie. We started out with that blender cup again, but we added some cold water. Swish it around there. Yep, there we go. Then the first ingredient was the beet. Our most terrifying ingredient to add. Um, it literally was so vibrant of a color. It dyed Caitlin's hands red from cutting it. Um, we added spinach next, just a handful. You could honestly use any green that you wanted. That's what we rolled with. Following that, we added green beans. We washed them before we, um, put them in the smoothie. Now, this was maybe a little nerve wracking for me because I had never added a green bean to a smoothie, but we washed them, snapped the ends off of them, and only added a few because like I said before I was a little nervous to have too many of those in there but after that process that's still going on we added an apple which was way more appetizing um we cut that up we added it to our handy dandy cup and dumped it into the smoothie after that we added this banana that was frozen then it melted it looks bad just live with it, move on. We added blueberries. These also defrosted. It's fine. You could use refrigerated or frozen. So we're doing complete powder. Um, this one's French vanilla this time and I didn't get the single packet so we just had to guesstimate. Oh, there's the ingredients again. Yep, same ones as before, just different flavor. Um, oh, NSF certification. Yeah, so what's on the back is in the product and what's in the product is on the back of the product label all right so because i didn't order it in singles whoo, <laughs> we had to measure it out and like you just saw i made a literal mess so yeah hope that was enough it tasted good at the end so i mean that's fine we added this ice there was some beet residue on there and when we dumped it in bloody ice but it's fine because that was an ingredient in this smoothie. Um, we finished it off by capping it and then 
running down her hallway to get to the blender because she doesn't have outlets in her kitchen. Hopefully she does now by the time this video is up. Um, after that, we... What do you think about this smoothie? I really enjoyed it, but whenever you first drink it, it tasted like dirt. Yeah, it's like a 6 out of 10. That's <laughs> 5. The last and final recipe was the blueberry mojito mocktail. This was my absolute favorite. <laughs> and first ingredient was the mint leaves. Usually you grind it up in a mortar and pestle, but I ended up ripping them apart because we didn't have that in our kitchen at the time because I just moved into my house. So as right now, I am putting in just little pieces of my ripped up mint. And next up, the ingredient was lime juice. You just squirt a lot of lime juice in the cups. Um, it actually called for a tablespoon of fresh lime juice, but I didn't know if that was like two glasses or just one glass. So I ended up putting a lot in each one of the glasses um, in case it meant for two glasses or one and at this time, I was like, let me just soak all the mint leaves in lime juice. It seemed great at the time. This is blueberry juice. This was probably the most expensive item that we purchased that day. And it was really good by itself. We actually tried it. It was very hard to put it in these glasses. As you can see, I spilled some on the counter just now. And yes, it might have stained if I didn't just clean it up real quick. But the next ingredient that we're putting in the glasses is club soda. Taylor's grandmother swears by it. And we started adding this on top of all of the other ingredients. Trying to clear it up, but as you can see, it looks really dark. We also forgot to add a tablespoon of maple syrup, but we did have it in our possession. This might look a little disgusting. It was frozen, but this is actually blackberries. We didn't put blueberries, but I guess you could put any berry in here, but it how would you rate this? I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. I think my favorite, it would be a, like a 9 out of 10. So this was your favorite? I think. Thank you all so much for watching this video and let us know in the comments below if you really enjoyed this because we will be doing this in the future for other holidays and oh, stuff yeah. like that because this was really fun. We enjoyed ourselves. Like this was four different recipes we've never made in our entire that lives. We, made. we just looked them up online. <laughs> no, and like this really came together. Like everything was really cute um, and I think this would be a perfect Valentine's Day activity that you could do with anyone oh my god and then like they're so easy to make like there was only so many oh, steps yeah. i mean besides the ones that you had to really get in with your hands so <laughs> a little too a person and the for me. beat got kind of everywhere <laughs> yeah the beat was like all over my hands it like stained everything but i finally got it off <laughs> um which was your favorite out of all of them Ooh, that would you say tough. oh my gosh i think it might be this one the, okay. um what was it called the Razzle Dazzle. Oh, Razzle Dazzle. Yeah. We're like trying to remember like all these different, like they have really quirky names, so it's kind of hard to remember. But yeah, the Razzle Dazzle was, I think, one of my favorites as well, um, considering I didn't try this. <laughs> um, I don't know if I would like that. And then we did forget one ingredient in this. The syrup was supposed to go in the mojito, but we actually forgot it. But that was actually pretty good. Um, that one's a close. A close set. That. Yes. Um, like initially whenever you first drink it, you're like, you want to wince because you think it's going to taste disgusting, right. but it ends up tasting really, really good. So this is one of my winners. This one was a little stout for me. It wasn't as sweet as I wanted it to be. And I think it was the beet. Um, so beet, if you want to green bean, <laughs> yeah, the beet, the green bean. So if you want to take like use less of that, whatever you make it, you can definitely do it, uh, do that and maybe add some sugar <laughs> or something else to make yeah. it a little sweeter. Um, but other than that, all of these recipes were delicious and they were like, not all of them 10 out of 10s, but they no. were close. They but were pretty we high them. Yeah, we would definitely recommend them, but thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you're located in the world. Bye. Bye guys.